What is this kitchen item my mom got in a bunch of stuff from her sister? I thought maybe an egg slicer, but it's just so square, and any egg slicer I've owned used wire instead of blades, it's hinged at the bottom, and two pieces fit inside each other. It's a multi-purpose slicer for smaller items like mushrooms, strawberries, grapes, etc. This type is great for eggs and mushrooms, because the blades last longer than the wires which can break and stretch. What is this small metal device with a handle that turns a small disc for some kind of cutting or scoring? Maybe for soft metals. This item has no identifying marks at all. It's a Harry M. Fraser cutting machine. It's used for cutting fabric for braided rugs. It saves hours over the scissors method. It cuts narrower and more evenly. I found this item in an old workshop, all metal, maybe 2 to 3 pounds, it can unscrew the bottom to set different positions, looks like it can be bolted to a table, the top has a 1 and 1 fourth measurement, it says pat pending on the side, I have a friend that bought the shop years ago, not sure what it was previously used for, but many items were left behind, while cleaning up I found this, any ideas? It's a 1900s and need a flag pole holder, made of cast iron and fully adjustable. They just don't make them like this anymore. This thing is about 3 inches, 8 millimeters in diameter. The black metal cap turns and locks open. Two prongs on the black end. A hole in the center with a thin metal chisel-like tool that retracts and lines up with the prongs. The other end looks like bronze, appears to be held together by a small pin in the black cap. There is no writing, this is made of steel. It is a round cylinder. It cannot be opened. It is a screw starter. You use the end with the prongs to grab onto the inside of a slotted screw head, and then you can maneuver the screw in tight spaces. I have one that is about 8 inches long. It's an essential tool if you work in the electrical or electronic component environment. What is this rotating metal pod-like thing at the Denver airport? The base and stick thing on top it's about 6.5 feet tall. Symmetrical and both sides have this blue spiral lamp behind a plastic dome. I'm not sure how else to describe it, and there was no one around I could stop and ask about it. Strangely threatening aura. It's an airport beacon light. They rotate like a lighthouse, and have different lens configurations to alter the perceived flashes of light. A pilot can tell what type of airport they are approaching, based on the color pattern of the light flashes as it rotates. What is this aluminum thing I found in a barn on an orchard in upstate New York? Molded with 337484C1 serial number maybe, but why? Sharpie for scale. No other writing or markings. It's from an international pickup, 1969 to 1975 international pickup travel travelette steering column wedge adjuster and spacer. Those trucks were tanks. They rusted horribly. The engines were way too heavy for the cubic inches, other than that they were pretty good vehicles. What is this hefty concrete cylinder with a cork base and metal cup that fits inside? The concrete says caution hot and there are no other markings. I have tried searching for concrete tin cup Christmas gift, and caution hot concrete cylinder concrete cup, and have not found anything similar. It looks like it's for a candle or something, any ideas? It's a tabletop fire pit that burns isopropyl alcohol. They are for heating and display purposes. Burners are typically fueled with liquid ethanol. You can use isopropanol, but ethanol burns cleaner. I use ethanol in my tabletop fireplace. What is this square-shaped object with a circular type lens, mostly plastic, and it's able to plug into an outlet? There is a retina-type circular piece in the center. It's about a size that can fit into most adults' palms and is lightweight. It's a night light. It provides just the right amount of light to walk around your house, without turning your main lights on, not too bright, not too dim, just the right touch. What is this metal cylinder canister with wires sticking out the bottom? Found near an old Cold War military practice zone. It is slightly bigger than a can of soup, and was found washed up at Grand Desert Beach, Nova Scotia. This beach was used for bombing practice during the Cold War. It has two wires sticking out of the bottom. It is made of metal. 
Looks like the arming top of a MK-25 marine smoke marker. They are saltwater activated, and the hole on the side is open to allow water in when it is deployed. For freshwater use you have to pour dry salt into the hole prior to dropping it in the water. They are commonly deployed from Coast Guard and Navy helicopters to give a visual position reference for hover work or to mark a position to return to. What is this old tool with a lever? Around 2 to 3 feet tall, long lever and a spring or coil. I found it in a shed that belonged to a farmer in rural Alabama. I've googled the company name Thor Power Tool Company and only found vintage drills. It's fairly heavy and sturdy. The label is faded and damaged, and there doesn't appear to be a model number or a visible serial number on it. It's an old Thor drill press. I actually have one myself, complete with drill and functional. What is this charm on the keyring? About an inch in size. The larger piece could be brass. The smaller piece is a much softer metal and rotates around where it's pinned onto the main piece. It could be 20 years old. Found it in the shop where I work. We cut keys at work. And this was buried in the keyrings we sell. Would have been ordered years ago. It's a nautical handmade sextant keychain. It's missing the bottom section that has the second mirror, scale, and eyepiece. The part that swivels is supposed to be bent upwards and have a small mirror glued in it. The hole in the center is where the scale swivels, and the hole at the bottom is to read the scale. It is a doubly reflecting navigation instrument that measures the angular distance between two visible objects. What is this twisted wire handle with a twisted wire roller on the end? The roller is thicker in the middle, so it wouldn't make good contact with a flat surface. This was found in a wooden box while cleaning out an old barn. It's an antique forged metal tool for lighting the fireplace. We had one of these when I was a kid, and Pops would use it to light the fireplace. He would fold up a piece of newspaper and stick it in the round part. Not sure if that's what it was actually designed for, but that's what he used it for. What is this thing I found at work? It's steel and about 10 pounds, and we use it as a doorstop. Size is 9 by 5 inches and about 2 inches thick. Origin California, age at least 20 years, at least since our building was built. Try to Google images search, and it came up with convict brick and storage heater brick. It's a backhoe bucket tooth. It probably fell off in transit. The excavator teeth I have are much bigger. Hollow cast where you weld them to the bucket. What is this fun plastic ball captive in a strange plastic enclosure? The ball rotates pretty freely. There's a hole in the base of the enclosure. I found it in the garage of our new house built in 1984 by three previous owners. The ball is swirly plastic, feels like it might be solid. Pilot G2 for scale. It's a manual massage roller ball. My friend just bought one off Amazon five months back. What is this wood platform with an electrical outlet and switch on it? Three metal blocks come out with what looks like levering clamps on the top, and the central block has what looks like a bakelite covered coil on it. It's about 6 inches tall and about 9 inches wide. I was told it might be a sander because it was surrounded by other tools, but every search I made for old or antique sanders turned up with no results. What is it? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.